This is a walkthrough of Edexcel GCE A2 Physics, Unit 4 Physics on the Move from June 2012 and we're going to do the multiple choice questions. Question 1. Lead 20882 is the symbol for the heaviest stable nucleus. The table shows possible numbers of neutrons and protons. Which line of the table correctly shows the numbers of neutrons and protons for this nucleus? So, we've got 82 protons, so the protons are here, and it's one of these two. So, uh, the 208 consists of the protons plus the neutrons, so it can't be the total number of neutrons, it must be this one. Okay, so we get 82 plus 126 gives us the total nucleon number of 208, so it has to be C. Two, a car is accelerated from rest. Which graph correctly shows how the kinetic energy varies with momentum P? So if we just remember that EK is proportional to V squared, because like kinetic energy is half mv squared, momentum is proportional to V. So... Um, we're looking for the one, it's definitely not going to be a straight line so we can rule that out um, and it's definitely going to increase so we can rule that out but it's whether it curves up or down well the kinetic energy being proportional to V squared will increase more as V goes up than momentum will so it has to be that one Question 3. An inelastic collision is one in which one of these things is true. Momentum is not conserved. Momentum is always conserved. That's not true. Momentum and kinetic energy are not conserved. Momentum is always conserved. Momentum and kinetic energy are conserved. Well, inelastic is ones where kinetic energy is not conserved, so that's also not true. Kinetic energy is not conserved. This is the definition of an inelastic collision. Okay, question four, the unit of electric field strength is one of these. So even if you can't remember it from book work, you know that hopefully the force on a charge is the electric field times Q. So E can be force over charge, which means it'll be in Newtons divided by coulombs, which is that one. Question 5. A capacitor is discharging through a resistor and the time constant is 5 seconds. The time taken for the capacitor to lose half its charge is going to be one of these values. So we have the Q at some time equal to Q0 e to the minus t over rc so q over q naught equals e to the minus t over 5 in our case and if we put the q and q naught values in these are going to be 1 over 2 with q naught being twice what q is so we take the natural logs of that, we get the natural log of um, 0.5 equals uh, minus t over 5. So t is going to be equal to 5, minus 5, sorry times the ln of 0.5 and I'm getting this so not there D question 6 which of the following statements does not help to explain why electrons can be used to probe the nuclei of atoms so this is a wave property issue here. So 
you can have wavelengths that are the right kind of sizes. They can be accelerated to give them such wavelengths and they can exhibit diffraction effects. I think the issue here that's not relevant is the particle property of the electron, the fact that they're negatively charged. Question 7. The diagram shows two parallel plates at distance d apart. There is a potential difference v across the two plates. A particle of charge minus q is placed between the plates as shown. The particle is attracted to the positive plate and moves through a distance x. Which of the following expressions gives the work done on the particle as it moves? Okay, so work is force times distance. And because this will produce a uniform field, we know the force is constant, and so we're multiplying by the distance. So the force is um, going to be E times the size of Q, and the distance in this case is X. So that's the force times the distance. Now, we don't have electric field, but the electric field is V over D, so we've got V over D times Q times X. So we're looking for something that has Q, V and X on the top line and D on the bottom and that's B. Question 8. A coil of N turns and cross-sectional area A lies perpendicular to a magnetic field of flux density B. The magnetic flux linkage is X. A second coil twice the number of turns but half the cross-sectional area lies perpendicular to a magnetic field of flux density 2B. The magnetic flux linkage with the second coil is how much? So we've got that the linkage N phi equals N B A. And we've got N and B and A in the first thing so basically what we're saying is that x equals sorry x equals n phi equals n b a then the second problem we've got different uh, circumstances so the second problem is twice the number of turns so we've got 2n and it says we've got half the cross-sectional area and twice the flux or flux density. So we've got 2n times 2b times a over 2 because it says it's half the cross-sectional area. And you can see that two of these twos are cancelling. So the overall outcome will be um, 2n b a and so it'll be 2x which was c. Question 9. A pion can decay to produce two leptons. Which of the following is possible? Okay, so uh, we need to look at the conservation laws here. So uh, Answer A is conserving charge. Answer B isn't conserving charge because you've got zero going to a negative thing. Remember that the neutrino is uncharged. Uh, answer C is not conserving charge because you've got plus going to plus and minus which is neutral on the right hand side. And uh, answer D is conserving charge. Uh, but answer D does not have an output of two leptons, so it's not what we're looking for. Answer A is conserving charge, and its output is two leptons, so we'll pick A. 10. As a particle accelerates in a LINAC, it passes through drift tubes of increasing lengths. This is so that, well, so one of these is the reason for the increasing lengths. Um, And the reason we use the increasing lengths is because we want to use a fixed frequency 
And so we make them longer to compensate for the fact that in the later stages of the lineage, the particle's moving faster, and we make the tube longer to make it stay in it for the same amount of time. So it's really, um, it's going to be this one with the um, frequency being constant, but let's have a look. Particle can be given more energy within each tube. Particles are not given energy within each tube. The, they coast at steady velocity in the tube. It's only between the tubes that they get an acceleration. Uh, let's have a look at C then. The accelerating voltage can be as high as possible. That's not why we make the tubes longer. Um, the time spent in the tube by the particle is longer. No, we want it to be the same amount of time. That's why, because we want to use a single frequency. So the answer there is B. And that's it for the multiple choice. Thanks for watching.